tables what we have it how this internal and external tables are differ the way the data is going to store right that is differs so if i say create one internal table where the data is storing if i create one external table where the data is storing that storage location is going to different for internal and external while i'm doing the practical we come to understand that one in case of the internal table the directory of the table will be stored by default in a folder called as slash user slash i warehouse table name if we go and try to observe let us say i am going for i am going for warehouse if you see if you see here i am going for trainings home trainings home then we want to go for users actually let us go for otherwise go for the browser from browser you can see very easily let me open the browser in the browser i am opening admin page administrator page then browse the file system here we have the user then we have here what is this one hive hive so this hive folder is created the moment whenever we are trying to install the product this hive folder created whenever we install the product this product installation automatically we got this one if you go into the hive there is a one folder that is called as warehouse internal table i said right the internal table whatever you are going to create it everything will come and try to store here as a one directory one table is going to create as a one directory here but the directory is going to sit in this location it is going to sit it so now if you plan uh, you understand what you mean by internal table internal table is a table the data of the internal table by default will go on try to sit in the warehouse folder as a directory it is going to sit here is going to store here if you go for any one thing internally we have here that corresponding file we have it internally we have here that corresponding file we have it right so that's what the meaning of this first point when we delete internal table or we drop internal table the directory will be deleted from the warehouse directory so the moment i drop drop a internal table then whatever directory it is created here this directory will be dropped the directory is dropping means the directory the suppose customers is dropping that meaning what internally cd.txt whatever we have the file that file also dropping and the data also dropping so end to end everything is dropping data as well as metadata there is column names structure everything will be dropped everything will be dropped everything will be dropped right that's what the meaning what you have to understand about internal table right external in case of external table we must give path explicitly external tables are not going to sit in a warehouse folder which are going to store whatever path is specified in that path it is going to store it the moment whenever we are creating external table will be specifying here this is the path go and try to sit over there like that if we specify like that if we specify like that let us go and try to see this syntax what what path we specified i am saying go to the users folder training folder external folder sit over there is this table is creating inside the warehouse folder or outside the warehouse folder outside yeah that's what it is called as external table that's what it's called as external table right now however the metadata of this table the metadata of this table that means table name column name these things will be available in the hive name node only hive name node only but data will be sitting in this location data will be sitting in this location we have two things right one is what 
metadata about column names, table names, those things. This is still available in the Hive, Hive control only, that is Hive name node only it is available. In the Hive name node only it is available. Okay. And we have here data, the data is going to store whatever folder is specified. That folder it is going to store the data. Now if you drop the table, if you drop the table only, only metadata will be dropped, not the data. Not the data. Okay, that is a that is a one of the major difference between external table and internal table. So now you can read here. In case of external table, we must give path explicitly where we want to store the table directory. Otherwise, it will give us error. We need to specify surely where you want to store it. When we delete the external table, table will be deleted from the hive shell or hive name node, but not from the directory where we store the table directory explicitly. So we can use this table if necessary later point of time. Is it clear? Where internal no. table is creating, where external table is creating. If I drop internal table, what is happening? If I drop external table, what is happening? These two points you have to understand. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Ram, I have one question. Like you mentioned Hive name node. That name node is from the Hadoop name node only, right? Or okay. will there be right. separate name node for a Hive? No, 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 no. It is same. Same. Okay. Yeah. Only one name node. Okay, okay. Only okay. one name node. There are there are no other name nodes are available. Only one mm -hmm. name node we have it. Okay, okay. Okay. And that name node is always always from the HDFS. HDF storage. We are the end of the day we are doing what? Storage we are doing. Yeah. If something yeah. I am talking about the storage, then mm -hmm. that is a that is a name node only. Okay, okay. Metadata we are storing means there is a name node only. This is the name node, that's it. There are no other. Okay. This JPA stands for to see all the Java related, uh, what is that, services, what it is running. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. It is a JVM, J stands for Java Virtual Mission Process Status. Java Virtual Process, Mission Process Status. That's what JPA stands for. And we are seeing here name node is running, like job tracker is running, and task tracker is running, and data node is running. Okay, like that we are able to observe it. And, and uh, that sorry, that number, that number is process ID, right? This is a process ID. This will be changes from uh, each stop to start. Oh, okay. Like our OBW also, uh, Oracle mm -hmm. server, Oracle B project server will have one process ID. But the moment yes, it's started, the process ID will be changing. Exactly. Similarly, here also it is. Okay, fine. Now, the difference between two tables is about load and drop statements. How it is loading, where it is loading, and how what it is dropping, how it, how it is dropping. These are the two differences we have it. Now, the two differences, I think, theoretically, we got clarity now. It is loading into... In case of this one, where it is loading? Internal table? Warehouse. Warehouse. In case of in case of this one, external table, where it is loading? User Where our user yes. is specified in that location and storing. If you are dropping, what is happening? Internal table means everything is dropped. All is dropped. Metadata as well as data. In case of external table, only metadata will be dropped. But data will be still available in that folder. My data will be dropped. Data will be still available in that folder. Okay, that's what the difference, what you understand. Now we'll learn how to create one internal table. We'll learn it. Now, as part of the fun, we are trying to open here kernel window. Then type the hive to see the database. Okay, let us go and try to make this window as minimize so that you can go and you can see it. Side by side. Right. I am giving control to you. I give the control. 
now we are already in the terminal window okay now let us go and try to see the internal tables yes first uh, second point is sir first point is hive to connect to the hive just type the hive yes now we are going to get here hive shell is open what it is came h i v e greater than right so stands for what it is a hive shell it is a hive shell most of the things whatever you want to open you need to open simply by typing that command only i mean to say if i want to open down the line pig pig then what happened okay open okay simple words you have to type here just hive means hive you have to type pig means pig you have to type it that corresponding shell whatever available it is going to open in case of pig it is a grunt shell in case of hive it is a hive shell right now we are in the hive shell i want to see inside the hive how many databases we have it how many databases we have it already i want to know about it so type here show databases i think we learned this one the mysql and scoop right similar to that okay yeah so now we are seeing here three databases we are seeing it default hive db rr attack underscore db out of these three things default is automatically this came and hive db rr attack db we created now okay default is the database by default system trying to use it suppose now if you go and try to create one table now we try to create one table system is going to create that one inside the default only it's going to sit uh, what is that create it suppose you want to switch the database you can switch the database by typing here fifth point use hive db for example use hive db enter now what it's saying it's saying okay and switch it to the hive db suppose you want to see the tables inside this one show tables then we are seeing here one table okay and if you want to switch to the default use default use default then it is switched to the default now try to see the table show tables now we are seeing here many more right yeah yeah so we know now how, what are the databases available how to see it we are aware of it we know now how to switch from one database to another database we are aware of it and we know now by default system try to use whenever you open what database it try to use default 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 and hive is coming with by default database software what database software it is coming it is a oracle or a sql server or it is a mysql or thereby i think my uh, for one user it will be there by yeah that's correct now as of now one user only so it is going to okay. come with the there by there by is the one what is going to come it okay so there by is okay. the one of the database one of the data by default these all database also whatever we are showing here now are creating inside the there by okay. now we are trying to load hive table from local file we are trying to load the table from the local file. If I given one file to you, and I am asking to load the data into the local file, how we can do that one? That's what we are trying to learn here. Okay, for this we are trying to create here one table. We are trying to create it. Okay, let me create one table as shown over there. Create table. Create table. S E M P. Excellent. now provide here employee number string e name of course employee number you can provide int into also okay i given the documented string but it has mm -hmm. the data types actually uh, it has the data types are three types of data types are available primitive data types primitive means our regularly using data types like integer float string these three yeah. things main data also these four things mainly comes under the primitive and second is miscellaneous miscellaneous means boolean like 0 1 true false yes no this kind of things are called as uh, miscellaneous next we have here complex data types array types map types map. struct types yeah. 
okay these are the complex data types anyhow we are going to see those data types down the line very clearly time being we are writing here emp number e name and salary and enter one by one record we cannot enter into the hive one by one record we cannot enter into the hive like insert one record into this table like that mm -hmm. this data has to come from where file only mm -hmm. okay and that file how it is going to be delivered from the source system that we are going to define here what type of files this table is going to accept it what type of files this table is going to accept it? it is accepting the comma separated values file or is it going to accept the tab separated values file or is it going to accept the pipeline separated values file or it is going to accept what type of file that we are going to define here so we are saying as as you know files are two types one is delimited second is fixed file but we are saying as delimited row format as delimited row format as delimited delimited means some character it is separated right what character it is separated we are saying as fields are terminated fields means columns columns are terminated by slash t slash t so i think we are very good with this uh, uh, second and third points right row format delimited field terminated by slash t like that right yeah <clears throat> yes enter successfully we created our table if you want to see our table just type here select star from SEMP then we have we are seeing here no data describe SEMP DESC then we are seeing here three columns whatever we have it we are seeing it whatever we created three columns we are seeing it. now load the data into this table we are trying to create here one local file we are creating it we are trying to create here one local file for this we are looking for cat i file dot txt i written you can write si file dot txt and i am entering here three records one rom 100 two ready 200 three gitam 300 like that and i am verifying this file data is created or not and also i am seeing present working directory present working directory that means this file is available where that i am trying to see here okay let us go and try to create one file for this can you create using hive shell or you have to go for the normal window normal window normal window you have to go so open the normal window go to the file menu yes this is now normal terminal window now we are trying to create one file So con control D. Come to the next line first. Then control plus D. Okay, yeah. yeah. Now try to verify. If you are in the same line and if you say control plus D, that third line will not be recorded. Oh, okay. Now I want to see what is the working directory. This was the home and training working directory. If you want, you can go and you can see that file physically also. Yeah, this is what the home folder, right? Mm hmm. If you go into the home folder, there is a training folder will be available. This yes, sorry, this already training folder. I mean already. Okay. Training folder. In this folder only directly you can find out your file here somewhere. Yes, high file dot txt. Okay, inside this one we are seeing one ROM blah blah. We are seeing it right. Hmm okay so that's how we created now our file we created next step what we are doing is load this local file into our table see the syntax is very very easy very easy load the data load what data from where we are loading this data from hdfs you are loading or from local file you are loading local file 
yeah file can be sitting only in two places either in the local file that means in my uh, my local second is where in the hadoop system yeah. if you are writing hadoop system means this local word will not be there that is the only difference okay as i am loading from the local this local word is came into the picture mm -hmm. that is the only difference and if it is a hadoop hadoop system means we are going to write load data directly in path and hdfs path we are going to write here yes as <coughs> local we are saying as we are specifying this local and local path we are specifying it and whatever data available in this file we are asking to load into so on so table called as emp and okay. this one we are executing using hive shell mm -hmm. so go into the hive shell now load data type it load data local in path then slash home then slash training slash si file dot txt for better better clarity single code just enter so this is the one one point from where we have to load the data this is the from location it is a from location what is the to to where you have to go for it into table into table the table name is what semp i think yeah now right before entering before entering i would like to show you one thing previously you created the table right yeah internal table or external table internal only now in this location we are able to see our s underscore emp we should be able to see it suppose i am writing a slash s e m p enter now we are able to see it is empty directory or not Yes, empty only. As of now, this table structure is created, but it is empty. But it is empty. We are seeing contents of the directory inside this one is nothing. Now go and try to execute this one. Enter. Now what it is doing? Copying data from the file called as si file dot txt. Copying the file file si file dot txt. now loading data to the table default which which database it is default default database because we connected to the default default database and the table name as as emp now if we go and try to see in the same location now refresh this one now we are seeing here what under s underscore emp under s underscore emp now we are seeing one file inside this file we can see our data we are seeing it now if you go here if you type select star from sn semp right we are able to see the data we are able to see it. are you seeing the column names no no in order to see the column names in order to see the column names here we have one command to see the header type as shown below hive cli print header is equal to true if you write this command then it is going to show the header for you please try to write it now type the same thing okay that's how we are going to do it that's how we are going to do it and once correction in this notes 
we can also load using one more method i given right mm -hmm. that i given as a method two i given that's reason from here i am trying to remove it from here i i given that as a method two i given. So we completed now. We completed now loading our data from local file to Hive table. What you learned now? Uh, How to create internal table? We learned, right? Yes. Now we also learned what we learned. Where it is storing internal table? In which folder it is storing by default? Where it hosts. And one table we are creating means in warehouse it is appearing as a one directory, right? Yes. Simple. One more point is anything you create in the hive, everything will appear as a one directory. Yes. I mean to tell. Go to the here and try to create your own database. Try to create your own database. For example, create database. Yes, S D B. Enter. What it's saying? It's created. Okay, this is a something uh, error, right? It's saying okay. First, yes or no? Yes. If yes. it's saying okay, means it's created. Due to the some Java issue, sometimes it will be come out of the hive shell. Are you getting my point? It's created due to some issue. It came out of the hive shell. Yes. Now it's created or not, we can confirm it by going to the browser, then go to the warehouse folder. In the warehouse folder, in the warehouse folder, are you seeing your are you seeing your database name? What is the database name? SDB. SDB. What type of it is? Dot DB, right? Yeah. If it's normal table means, if it's normal table means, it is not giving here dot DB like that. If it's database means, it's giving dot DB, right? But both are creating as what here? Directory. Directory. Okay. For default, for default database, we have here any directory. Oh, no, no. Why? Because it's a default. Default database is the only one which will not have any directory. But remaining this, okay. whatever you create it, you create one table today, or one database today, or tomorrow one partition table, or down the line we create one bucket. We have the bucket concept. Whatever mm -hmm. you do, end of the day, that will appear as a one directory here. Okay. Okay. Right now, I want to create here one table inside our database. Now, as of now, in our database, I don't have it. Can you create it? Yeah. Yeah. Try it. Try it. And we'll create. We'll try to. We'll try to create. Create the database. And in that database, in the database, using this method, I want to load the table. Method two. Okay. Try to connect to the Hive shell. Right. Now I want to create the table in our database. Right. Now try to create the table. Yeah, here I used here INT, I used it. Yes. E name is missing. E name also I want. Okay. It's regular Oracle database uh, has data types, right? Similar to that will be there. Slight okay. variations will be there. If anything you written wrongly, also it is going to throw the error. Based on that error, we come to know this data type is not available, something like that. Otherwise, you can, with the Oracle knowledge, whatever we have it, with that knowledge, we can keep on try to write the queries. Right. Now only one table we created, the table is available. Okay. So, so Rama, I have a question here. Like, 
here we are mentioning the fields terminated by slash t that is tab format right correct and uh, let's say if we don't know the source file contains that uh, uh, whether the source file is uh, delimited by tab or comma separated or we don't know so can we here mention that whatever the source file uh, the fields being terminated uh, will will this table will accept without mentioning the fields terminated by slash t no or it should be like that only yeah but mostly our uh, OLTP system people, whatever file they are going to give it, they will specify mm -hmm. what type of file we are going to give it. Okay. Surely they are going to spec specify that one. Suppose mainframes, this means they will say mostly we are going to deliver to you fixed files. Okay. Something like this. And, yeah. Okay. And one more, thing, one more thing, like let's say we uh, mentioned the slash t as the delimiter for the SEMP1. Can we alter this termination? Yeah, like, uh, right. we can alter, alter. Later point of time, if you want to alter, we can alter it. Okay, okay, yeah. Now, go and try to see in this location, particular location. Earlier, we saw in this database, in this database, <clears throat> nothing. But now we are seeing here SEMP1. SEMP1 also acting as what one? Directory. Directory. And this directory, modification time, permissions, what are the permissions we have it? I think if you have the time, open any one Linux uh, book or Google it and try to learn about permissions, sir. Okay. Okay, what do you mean by permissions? Okay, what do you mean by 777? Okay, that kind of things, try to observe it. 777 okay. full permissions, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the kind of thing, try to observe it. And owner is who, training is the user, we are using it. And if the user group is, super group is the user group. Now, let me go and try to click on here SCMP1. Then inside that SCMP1, I have no data is available. Okay. Now, we'll try to we'll try to create the data inside this one. Okay, now that's what we completed now, create table. We are doing the method to using internal table we are trying to load it, I mean local table, we are, local file we are trying to load it. For this, we have already one uh, file, right? Open terminal window, observe the local file data. Already we have it, we are, we are observing it. Mm -hmm. Now, load this local file into EMP table using Hadoop command. I think we are familiar with this command, right? Yeah. Maybe we can write here in this place. In this place, I can write here PUT put also, right? Yes, my put. Yeah, I can put here PUT put also, I can put it. So copy from local, local file is highfile.txt into the Hadoop. Hadoop, where it is available? Into the where it is available Hadoop, it is available slash user slash hive warehouse, then hdb, then scmp1. This is the location, right? Yes. That location we are trying to find out. Okay. Okay, right. And one thing. Okay, try to do that. Try to do that one. Okay. Yes, type it. Shall I go to the local host? Yeah, we have to. Right. Now, go to the Hive shell and try to see select star from SCM, SCMP1. Sorry. We don't have any data.
box. I think uh, we created as DB, right? Yeah. yeah. We are seeing the okay, mm -hmm. but in the 10 million window, we are not. Okay, let me use a DB. By this behavior, here we can see Yes, mm -hmm. the problem is it is mm -hmm. it's taking, I think, dot db also is taking the path. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Then it is loaded into some other location, it is loaded. You remove uh -huh. dot db. Then we are seeing the data. Oh, <clears throat> got it. So in our path, we have to change dot db. Mm -hmm. I didn't show that one in my notes but because I think I am loading the default only I am loading. Oh, okay. So that kind of reason for me, that kind of problem is I didn't paste it. Yeah, it is there. <coughs> now here you can verify the uh, data. Now here yes. is the data. So that's sort of the problem. Now we verify the data, we understand. Now we land how to how to create one internal table and how to load the data into that internal table using load data local in path command or copy from local command right yes two methods we landed both are one and same but okay. generally people will not use people will not use this copy from local local data okay then we have okay. uh, sorry uh, load data local in path command is available right that yes. only people generally will use it okay but this is also one of the alternative option normal HDFX okay. command whatever we have we are using it to load the thing because in the day it is creating as one directory right in the directory are in the file okay Next one, load hive table using HDFS file. In, now, as of now, the file is available where in previous case? Lo the local. Now the file is available where in HDFS. Mm -hmm. If file is available in HDFS, then how to load that HDFS file into the table we are learning it? Okay. Right. Copy the local file to the HDFS system. We are using this command and we are trying to copy the file whatever we have it into the HDFS system we are copying it hmm. and we are trying to observe is it copied really or not we are observing it okay let's try to do that one
Yeah. Now we copy the file, we copy it to the HDFC system. Okay, if you want, you can go and you can verify in the HDFC system also this SI file is available or not. You can verify it. Where I have to verify inside the warehouse or outside the warehouse? Outside. Outside. So in this location now, we have to go to the Training. signing folder. Training. Then we have to go and we have to observe here as I find. Yes. So we can see. Yes, I yeah, yeah. Now only it's created. So it's given the time stamp and you can see the data. Our data is available. Fine. Okay. Now we completed the first point we completed. Let us go for a second. Create a table in the hive. We are aware of it how to create it. Let's try to create it. Right, we created one table we created in the, in the hive. Is the internal table or external table? This is internal only. Internal table, yes. Now we are trying to load this table using HDFS file. Okay. See, what is the, what is the statement difference? Everything is same except what? Uh, we need to load from a hollow file system. Yeah, that's what. What what uh, what is command change? <coughs> Local word is not there, right? Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Remaining all mm -hmm. this is same. So write it. Load data in path. We have to go to the if shell. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah, we are loading into high right? So, yeah. Normal SQL syntax, yes. Yeah, yes. Should I provide a uh, single code? Of course, I yeah. Think. Yeah, otherwise it won't. Just enter it, just enter it without providing it, enter it. Mm -hmm. No, PHT is missing. PHT is missing. That is a problem. Oh, okay. Person uh, after the single code, then try to use a backspace. Yes, yes. Now, what is the error? Mismatched input. Expecting slash. Yeah. Single quotes is expecting. So now write it. Single quotes. Enter. So it is loaded. Which, which database it is loaded? Which database? I think SDB, yeah. SDB database, SEMP21. If you go to the SDB database, we are in the users folder, then hive, 
then warehouse inside the warehouse we are seeing here uh, what is that sdb right yes we need to get the sdb database inside that one semp21 then si file then we are seeing the data and even you can write the query here select star from sem21 enter now we are able to see the data so we loaded the data from where to where hadoop file system to internal table yeah hadoop file system to hive internal table so today we yes. learned total three methods we learned it actually two methods mm -hmm. One is local file, how to load into the Hive table, Hive, Hive internal table. Hadoop file, how to load into the Hive internal table. Okay. okay. <coughs> local file, loading into the Hive internal table, we have two methods. One is using Hive shell command. Second is using Hadoop, F, Hadoop uh, HDFS commands. Yes. Both the methods will end it. Tomorrow we'll start with the external tables. We try to start it. Okay. 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 Tomorrow, tomorrow uh, yes, we have the class as, as you didn't take in the class yesterday with some personal reasons. Hmm. What about you? I'm I'm fine. No problem. Okay. Then we'll take tomorrow as you didn't take yesterday class, right? We'll take tomorrow. Okay. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Sir. <clears throat>